back here at Ellicottville Aquatics. We're going to be doing an unboxing and reveal of the OASA canister filter. So this is the BioMaster Thermo 600. So what the Thermo means is this has a built-in heater. That's right, a built-in heater. I'm going to say this is probably one of the only ones with a built-in heater. So just off the box here, we're looking at a max flow of 350 gallons per hour. Not bad from a canister filter. A max uh, head pressure of 6.6 .6 foot. Not bad. Um, max aquarium size, 160 gallons. I would say that's not bad either. It's good for freshwater or marine fish. And this company is going to back it, not with a three-year, but a four-year warranty. That covers everything but the mechanical filters inside the system. Not bad. So that's what uh, we're getting off the box here. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this thing opened up and see what we're working with. All right, that's just cardboard. We'll set that aside. What do we got here? All right, so this is all the hoses, instructions, spray bar, all these little gadget pieces here. We'll get this set set out here. Tons of little parts. All right, eh, instructions. We'll, we'll try to skip over those. We'll toss this aside, see if we can get the canister out. There it is. All right, guys, so, Let's jump right into it here. Right off the bat, pretty uh, pretty solid unit here by the looks of it. So we've got your power cord for the heater. We have the power cord for the actual unit. Um, looks to be a nice long uh, cord for both. So I have never really monkeyed with one of these. I see four clamps on the side. We've got some levers up here that looks like it does some stuff. You can see the thermostat uh, dial up top for the heater. Uh, let's see if we can't figure out how to open this thing up. All right, so with these guys, it's not gonna allow you to unlock this until you turn this. And what I was informed is everything blue, everything that is in color blue, is something you can move and play with and it's designed to be touched. So by that being said, Looks to be we have to shut this off. That comes off for cleaning purposes. So obviously these are going to be connected to your aquarium. So you're going to pop this off. It'll be connected to the tank. So that'll be left behind. And then this opens up. This is your primer. So this is the prime the filter. And then we pull this out. And this is media. So this is literally all carbon infused sponge filter. So it's not only a sponge filter, but it's actually got carbon infused into it. Neat concept. So these just slide right off. Well, that's kind of neat. So there's six of them, and there's little spray nozzle holes in there that generate through, so the water will spray through them. Pretty cool. Like I said, this seems to be a pretty good construction overall. Um, there's only one way for that to clip in. You got to line up the holes. Um, so we'll set that aside. And then we got to flip this up and pop these off here. All right, so this comes out. Okay, so now we can see our heater. The unit's right inside there. That's really nice. Looks to be a pretty durable heater. We'll get that set aside. That brings us to the inside of this unit. So. You know, obviously the first thing you see is your sponges. So this is a finer sponge. So this is 35 PPT. And then we move to another, looks to be a little coarser sponge here. That one's, uh, I believe, 40 PPTs. We've got another one. And another one. Wow, we got a lot of filtration going on here, which is awesome. And we've got, looks to be a, some type of biological ball. Tons of surface area on it, comes in its own little container for easy removal. So that's nice. We've got another one. So we've got, what, a total of six trays here? That's awesome. Pretty nice concept there, I like that. And then, we got it, you know, empty. 
So that's all the way down to the bottom. So I like that. That's nice that you have tons of space. You don't necessarily have to run all this stuff. You could say remove one of these, put some carbon in there, or any any substrate or you know material that you want to use in there. So we'll put these back in. These take them out. I mean, these are definitely pretty well built, washable, reusable for sure. So that's nice. And I mean, check out the thickness. I mean, that's a good inch and a half. I would say nobody on the market has a nice sponge like that. And on top of it being, you know, three, three coarser sponges. Um, these snap right into place pretty straightforward. There's only one way you can put these in, which is nice. Less uh, room for confusion. Your uh, little, you know, finer sponge is a little thinner, but like I said, you can see how, you know, much surface area is on that. Uh, we'll put that back into place. So I do like that. Six, six trays, that's awesome. So back to this, uh, top unit here with the built-in heater. I, I don't know. I mean, it, it's definitely a great concept. We'll see how it works out long-term. We're going to get into the impeller quick. So that's the housing there. You just twist that off. I mean, check out the size of that impeller. So this is not only good for fresh, but good for salt water. So this is a uh, stainless steel which is a uh, saltwater grade stainless so they claim that this is going to be great for saltwater use uh, we'll find out long term i'm definitely curious to see how that's going to work out hopefully it uh, does what they say it does it's got a really nice seal on here nice thick uh o-ring um so back to the heater here you have your regular control here but you also have a dial precision knob up top that you can actually click one way or another. So say you're running it on a bigger tank and it's winter time. You're gonna wanna get you know, your temperature and your main display perfect. Well, while your water's running through your hoses, maybe it's getting a little cold. So say your display is running 77, but you want it 78 degrees. You're able to dial in this top to where you can get your display temperature a little warmer per se than what the dial's actually reading. Great concept. Hopefully it works out like they say it does. So we're gonna get this put back together. Like I said, we've got all the trays back in there. It's only one way it can go. Um, so that's definitely nice for less confusion. Um, literally, there's an area for the heater to go down in. It only, only can go one way. I mean, you can't put it this way, that way. It only goes on one way, which makes it real easy. So we slip it back on. The handle has to be in the upright position to be able to get this clamp back on. So we get it lined up there. Get that one set. Get this one set. That one. That one. Then we're able to put the handle back down. And then... We're gonna put your uh, media back on. So there's only one way. You got a big notch and a small notch in the plastic here. Literally, it sits down in there. And you just push it into place, you hear it pop in. And I guess that's it. I mean, that's locked in. So once you put this lock over, it, it's on there. So it's not coming off. So that's good to go. And then this one slips down in there. Let's see here how it sets. Okay, so this one only goes in one way too. Okay, so that one goes into the lock position. So you have your in and your out, pretty straightforward there. One thing I'll point out though, those are kind of small. I'd like to see them maybe a little bigger though, you know, for the hose and it says it does up to 160 gallon aquarium. I don't know, we'll see, maybe it'll be all right. They give you all these parts and pieces here. So as we're looking into all this stuff, this is a plug. So if you wanna say pop your heater out, not run the heater, you're able to do that. You pop the heater out, put the plug in, you're good to go. You have your nice long spray bar for di different applications. So we've got all the tubing for that. We have uh, your suction line. So we have all the tubes for that. We have your little nice overhangs for the aquariums here. So these are your clip-ons that would hang over the aquarium. You have a built-in valve here. That's kind of nice. Once again, they give you a little tool here. So you just slip that in. You can adjust your valve with that. Pretty cool idea. Um, 
You know, if you want to adjust your flow on that, gives you all your little clamp pieces for your uh, your spray bar and your your suction tube. Um, so, I mean, pretty straightforward. It's a canister filter, and I would have to say overall quality seems like it's built pretty nice. I guess it all comes down to how it's going to perform in my eyes. I mean, you can look at a filter all day. I mean, most of them look the same. Pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. It all comes down to how it's going to perform. So we're going to go ahead and install this on our clownfish display that we have out front and uh, see what this thing can do long term. And I'm really curious to see how this heater is going to react on our big tank because we're pumping you know, quite a bit of head pressure. So I'm, I'm curious to see how that heater is going to keep up. And uh, let's get this bad boy installed, guys. All right, guys, we got the filter hooked up on our display tank here. Overall, plumbing didn't go too bad. We had to convert, you know, half inch tubing to three quarter inch tubing. So we did have to make that minor adjustment. But overall, sits in here nice, very quiet, easy to prime. Uh, heater is right at that 80 degree mark. I tested the aquarium up top. We're, we're spot on at 80 degrees. So it, uh, overall, the installation was super easy for us. All right, guys, uh, we got the filter installed. It's been running overnight. Um, I would say the built-in heater is awesome. Uh, the temperature of the aquarium is spot on when I set it um, in the canister. So overall, I would uh, say this filter is not bad. Um, I would like to see them integrate a UV sterilizer into the unit. I think that would make it probably one of the best canister filters on the market because it's literally dummy proof, super easy to install. Overall, like I said before, everything blue is you know playable, mess around with it. You can touch it and work with it. It's made the move, so you can't break it. Anything that's not blue, don't touch it. Um, one thing I want to point out with these nozzles, I would like to see a, maybe a bigger nozzle, you know, for the inlet and uh, the exit. Um, you know, half inch tubing, I think is a little small considering this is supposed to do up to 160 gallon aquarium. But overall, like I said, I would personally buy one of these for my home aquarium for the simple fact of how easy it was to set up the built-in heater. I, I want to say they're probably one of the only ones that have that. Really a uh, benefit if you're trying to make a clean aquarium, you know, try to minimize all the stuff hanging in the, you know, display tank itself. Um, you know, the, the media, very simple. So every canister size, this is the biggest one they make. So every single thermo filter that they make is all the same media. That's a big... Uh, big factor you know it's it's easy for you guys so if you gotta come into the store and pick out media you're not having to you know guess and think it's it's straightforward there's one size for every single filter they make out there for the thermos which is awesome so overall i would give this probably a four out of five star review um like i said i i think it would be awesome if they could integrate the uv sterilizer into it um and I'd like to see some type of indicator light on the heater as well, just so you know that it's on or you know that it's working per se, or maybe like a digital display of, you know, what the temperature is per se. Um, I mean, obviously you can have an external thermostat in your aquarium, but I think I'd like to see that, you know, integrated into this considering, you know, the overall price point and everything on the filter. Um, other than that, guys, uh, if you have any comments or questions, uh, place them below. Other than that, we'll uh, catch you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel, and uh, we'll see you next time, guys. Thanks.